Good afternoon, everyone. Um, good afternoon, and over to you, Mr. Dodds. Hello, all. Uh, I'm Mr. Dodds. Uh, welcome to 7S. Um, I am the computer science teacher at Wangels. I like video gaming, Warhammer 40,000, and reading fiction. Um, there are a lot of expectations to get your head around. I know it can be quite difficult, um, but we'll start with the uniform. So we've got a grey blazer with a school logo, uh, grey um, there. It will have its colour for the particular zone you are in. Uh, a school jumper isn't compulsory, uh, but you are expected to wear a white shirt uh, that has to be tucked in. You can have black tailored trousers or shorts uh, for that, or you can have a black knee length skirt. Um, either of these are fine. The shoes are also to be plain black and polishable, is what we asked for, and that logos should not be visible for them. Uh, you can also see on this side, we've got Mr. Bartlett, the principal, Miss Adjo, the senior assistant, uh, Miss Street, the assistant principal, and Miss Krang, who is going to be our head of year. On the first day, um, you're going to arrive at 8.40 and meet your tutor group in the quad. Uh, that's the centre area in the school, and I will be holding a sign with your tutor group name on it, which is 7S. I will then escort you to a new tutor room, which should be R003. There'll then be a virtual assembly from Mr Bartlett and Miss Krang as a welcome to Wangels. After this, you do a tour of the school, which is a treasure hunt. It's a nice and fun activity for the students to do, uh, where they get into groups and uh, go and round the school to find the different locations of the school. Then we have the issuing of timetables, planners and lockers from me. I will be giving you those. A quick uniform and equipment check just to make sure everything's OK uh, and to help resolve any issues that might arise. Then there'll be an individual check in with uh, me as well. The SEND students are to receive a tour and introduction to the den separately uh, and then we go over icebreakers and activities and that's uh, a, for a finish at three o'clock on Friday the 3rd. On Monday the 6th once again you'll arrive at 8.40 and you should head to your new tutor room which uh, was from the first day you should know. We check timetables, lockers, things again just to make sure everyone's comfortable and everyone has everything. Um, then we begin the bring to Wangels passport entries which we'll have a quick look at. Then we do some more icebreakers and activities and once again another individual check in with me. You then begin the school day and follow your timetable and for the second day on Monday the 6th school finishes at 3 p.m. again. Do bear in mind that this might change if the government uh, has any changes in their plans as well. The Wangels Passport is something we'd like you to do over the summer holiday. We would love you to complete some of the activities from our Wangels Passport. You can pick one, two or more. The choice is in completely up to you. Whilst the project is due on Friday the 10th of September, we would, like I mentioned before, love to see your work beforehand so it can be displayed in the tutor rooms uh, on your first and second days. This is an optional extra. Feel no, uh, there's no need to do it, but it would be nice. All entries will, however, be put into a raffle to win prizes. I do look forward to seeing you in September, and if you have any questions, now would be the time to ask them. Um, Please apply a reminder that we can't answer any personal questions, nor can we tell uh, you the names of other students in the tutor group. No, nope. there shouldn't be a, an issue with a PE kit on the Friday. Um, I don't think they'll be doing anything to do with PE at all. Um, they won't have a um, follow, need to follow their timetable until Monday. Uh, at Wangels, I've been teaching for five years. Oh, yeah, never mind. OK, 
coming to summer school. Uh, no, I will not be one of the teachers at the summer school, but there are loads of uh, teachers that will be attending um, and they will all be more than happy to help you out. Um, so uh, there's plenty of teachers there to meet and uh, talk to. stationary on the first day that is a good question uh, the first day we should be as I said I'll just go back to it quickly um, going through a tour of the school timetables and planners uniform equipment check yeah if we're doing an equipment check it's probably a really good idea to actually bring yours just for a quick um, a quick check about another 20 minutes. Uh, there is a pin for the locker, so there isn't a key. Uh, you will be given a default code and then I believe you go and enter your own pin afterwards, one that you can remember. Uh, and it's very it's OK that if you forget the pin, the staff can can reset it for you as needed. So the um, site team can reset it if, if you forget. So if you're worried about forgetting it, um, that's OK. We can help with that. Um, the day? Are you talking about the days? Because uh, this is going on for another 20 minutes if that's what you're asking for. Although the day itself finishes at 3 p.m. Um, of course, the first day is just to make sure you've got the equipment. It's a really good idea that we you bring it just so that we can check it for you to make sure you've got everything you need for the different subjects. Um, but of course, if the first day you forget, there's nothing you can really do about that, but you are expected to bring them in the future. Uh, it's one of the expectations. Um, I'd like to follow the policy on uniform quite strictly. Um, I am in that regard. I think that I'm approachable. I hope to be anyway. Uh, someone you can come talk to when you need to, but um, the, I feel that like the guidelines are there for a reason and following them is important. Um, and I try and follow them and I make sure, I hope that you guys will follow them as well.
Yes, there are shorts in the uniform policy. You are allowed to wear shorts. So uh, the shorts themselves, uh, I'll quickly go back to this. So the shorts, um, so they are black and tailored shorts or shorts must be on the knee. So we should be on the knee for shorts there. But yes, shorts are allowed on the policy. You should have the same tutor throughout the whole time in school unless something occurs. Um, but I should be following you, hopefully, from year seven all the way through to year 11. I've just finished a year 11 class. I took on in year eight. Uh, no, I took them on in year seven, end of year seven, and followed them all the way through just to year 11. Um, will you get detention on the first day? I hope not. I hope no one gets detention on the first day. That would be a concern. But yes, there are shorts and I, like I said, I hope no one gets detentions. But detention is a, um, we try and leave it as sort of a last resort. We try and do a, a payback or a make it right. So first we'll have a discussion hopefully to understand what's going on. And there, there will be, um, if there is some acting out or anything, we'll, we'll try and have a chat and uh, make sure you understand why the behaviour is incorrect before we go any further down that route. Um, would really, of course, would rather avoid giving paybacks and detentions. Um, so I'm hoping no. That's a really good question with homework. Um, homework is one of the things that will pop up, um, but the idea is that it will be introduced slowly. Uh, you will get a homework timetable that, uh, or the, a homework timetable will be published, so you'll understand where you will get homework uh, and from which lessons. The idea is that homework shouldn't be due in the next day, for example. Um, we, we won't be doing that. Uh, you'll try and at least have a, at least one day with which to do homework. But you'll have a homework timetable which should show you this as well. That's a really good question. Um, is there a chance to visit the school before September? I'm going to let one of my assistants here answer that one because uh, that is above me. Um, but I would have to hope someone can answer that. Oh, hi, yeah, it's Miss Chislett here speaking um, to Mr Dodd's class. Um, so I'm one of the assistant principals here and I'm responsible for transition. And um, unfortunately, we're not able to have any more um, visits at the school. So lots of students, most students haven't had a visit um, and we're re really sad about that. Um, but the first day that you're here on the first Friday that you guys are here, you'll be the only full year group here. So there'll be some year 12s, but it'll be just year seven. Um, and you'll have a really good explorer of the school um, an opportunity to get to know Mr Dodds and some other like teachers. And then the um, uh, and then on the Monday morning as well, you get another period to, to kind of um, get to know how things work um, and so on. There is a virtual tour on the website um, and some information, some other videos of students on the website. So if you're feeling anxious about that, it might be worth um, looking at that. OK, thank you very much, Beth. Uh, I'm just going to close that one. Right. Uh, what do we do when we are with our tutors? What are we doing? OK, uh, I'll go back to it just in case I missed it. I did go through it quite quickly. So at the first of all, we go to our tutor room where we will have an assembly for Mr Bartlett and Miss Krang. After that, we uh, do a tour of the school, which is a treasure hunt. Um, then I will I think I'll be issuing the timetables, planners and lockers for anyone. A quick uniform check, uh, a discussion with me to check in uh, with some activities. Um, then send students we get another tour. That's on the Friday. On the Monday, once again, you go to your tutor room and we do another quick check just to make sure everything's in place. And that's really it. Making sure you understand your timetables, 
um, and lockers again, just making sure everyone's comfortable with the start. Then uh, it will be looking at the Wangels passport entries, anyone that's got them and wanted to bring them in. A couple of icebreakers and activities again, um, and then check in with me once more, and then you begin the day following your timetable on the Monday. What computer games do I like playing? Lots of different ones. I like playing lots of different ones. Um, at the moment, I'm playing a lot of Super Smash Bros uh, on the Nintendo Switch. Um, uh, but I've also got a load of PC games. I also have a PlayStation. Unfortunately, I'm not an Xbox fan. I like my PlayStation. I like my PC. Um, there was a couple of bits where I've gone through the uh, previous slides, but um, you are more than welcome to ask questions. I'm more than happy to go through that. Um, anything you want me to go through. Uh, if you want me to go back over some of the content, I'm more than happy to do that. But this session is an introduction and for you to ask me any questions you've got. Uh, do the tutors deliver the PSHC? Oh, that's being replied to. I'll leave that. What's my favourite computer game? Wow, uh, my favourite computer game at the moment, like I said, is probably Smash Bros. But uh, I've got a very old one I quite like called Dawn of War, which is a 40,000, which is one of my um, earlier ones. Are we allowed to squash on our water bottles? Uh, yes, they've been answered. Oh, it's being answered still. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think Miss mentioned this earlier. I think you'll spend the first uh, hour with myself in the tutor and then you follow your timetable as normal. You have your timetable on Friday so you can see what's coming up. So, for example, if you did have PE on Monday, you would know about it um, ahead of the time so you can prepare for the Monday lesson. Um, but yes, on Monday, the normal lessons after the tutor. I think someone is replying to the uh, PSHE program one as well, but if there isn't a reply, um, I'll try and answer that soon. Um, what do we do on our mobiles when we come to school? Mobiles are not allowed in the school. I will quickly go back to that slide. So mobiles are not allowed in the school. They are currently banned. And I believe that there is a new policy coming in place sometime soon regarding mobile phones as well um, for schools across um, the country. But uh, schools are currently banned at the uh, uh, mobile phones are currently banned at the school, sorry. Uh, on uniform, are short sleeved shirts OK? That is a good question. In the summer, I believe they are. I think I've seen students wearing short sleeved shirts. I think they're just OK in general. Um, let's have a quick look. So uh, grey blazer, school jumper. White formal shirt with a collar. Shirt should be tucked in at all times. As long as you can tuck it in and it's a formal shirt, I think short sleeve or not, I don't think it really matters. But That's a really good question. Thank you. Um, really good question. Uh, Smash Bros minus Link. Uh, Link is a good character. Which one? Adult Link, Young Link or Toon Link? Um, and for me, I quite like playing Wolf um, as a character. Although I've really gotten into playing Min Min as well. Min Min's a really good character. And Quite like I quite like the fact that Sephiroth is in um, Smash Bros as well. Okay, is there short, uh, short sleeve shirts done? Uh, at break and lunchtime, can year sevens play with other yogurts? At the moment, um, not at the moment. You will have your own area that you can go to. Um, I think it's still back of Red Zone next year, although that might need to be someone from live events just to confirm. 
Um, but I believe that you will have your own area at the back of Red Zone. Uh, do I need to book my school dinner in advance? Is that for? Uh, are you talking about school lunches at lunch times? So school lunches, we've got a cafeteria and you can what we we've got a thumbprint system where um, we you can put money on ahead of time and then you go into the canteen, select the food you would like for lunch and use your thumbprint to essentially pay for it. Um, can we keep the phone turned off in the bag? The idea is that phones are actually banned at school. Um, no one. Uh, I'm not going to. I'll let someone else answer that one. Can we keep the phone turned off in the bag for our live events at all? The school policy is that you don't bring your mobile phone to school. We don't search your bags and we don't look through your bags in less extreme circumstances. So I am not going to, the school policy is that you, I'm not going to say yes, you can bring your phone in because school policy is and we don't take responsibility for mobile phones. Um, a lot of students, we think, have their mobile phones switched off in their bags and we would never know about it. Um, so I think I, I, that's a bit of a round the houses answer, <laughs> but um, I, I understand as a parent myself, I would probably be quite keen for my uh, year six son moving to year seven to have his phone with him. Um, but I understand it should be switched off and in his bag. And if it is not switched off and the teacher sees you with it, it will be confiscated. Um, and it, the first time you're allowed to collect it that day, the next time a parent has to come in and get it. And then if it happens again, we keep it until the end of term. So, so if, if you think you can keep it responsibly switched off at the bottom of your bag so that nobody knows that it's there, um, then we won't know it's there, um, essentially is the answer to that. I hope that helps. Thank you very much, Miss. Uh, can we keep, okay, brilliant. So that's the phone answered. Um, for the person that can't hear me, I've written a message. Uh, adult link, brilliant. What different PE things do we do? Wow. Um, I know that they do tennis because I've just seen them doing tennis uh, today. I think they do football. I'm not sure on anything more than that. Um, I'll the, just interrupt there, um, sir. Sorry, they also do um, netball, they do hockey and cricket um, and uh, trampolining as well, I believe, and use the fitness suite too. So we have a really, so if you have a look at the virtual tour, you'll see that we have a really amazing fitness suite that looks like a private gym, gym and you get to use that in year seven as well. Uh, when we are doing PE, are the genders split up? I think that's another one for live events. I've not uh, myself witnessed PE lessons. Uh, yes, uh, yes, they are. So you, so you have the same timetable and then you obviously get changed in your separate. Um, and then we do, I think, predominantly uh, boys and girls um, are doing separate PE sessions. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Miss. Um, so that's that one answered. That one answered. Um, at break lunch times, can year seven play with other groups? Uh, Miss, I wasn't so certain on that one. Do you have an answer for that one? I think because of uh, COVID at the moment, it's no, but um, I'm not. Sorry, could you just repeat the question? Sorry. Uh, the question just... is um, at break or lunch time, can year sevens play with other groups? No, and they and and um, uh, they never have been able to. Um, it, it's not just a COVID thing with bubbles. Um, year seven have, uh, so we've got three three big zones. Well, we've got four, but you uh, in year seven, you only really go into um, red zone, yellow zone, green zone. Behind red zone, there's a, a play area and that's where year sevens play um, and that will carry on. Um, and so, so you don't really mix. You might mix in the canteen if the canteen is back up and running, um, but, but that's that's the year seven play area. Thank you very much, Miss. Is there music as a subject because I love singing and I'm good at it? Yes, there is. Uh, one of my students uh, in my previous uh, tutor was 
fantastic. She was in the choir. Um, she was exceptional. I actually went to see her a couple of times at the choir. Uh, I'm really supportive of everyone doing an extracurricular activity. Um, and it, it'd be good to know that one of my tutors is also doing extracurricular straight away. Um, so music is a subject um, and I'm glad to hear that you enjoy singing and you could adhere. Right, Mr. Dodds, I think we'll just leave it another couple of minutes and then if we don't get any more questions, then um, we'll we'll end, end the event. OK, so if you just if you've got any more questions, if you just quickly type them in um, and uh, remember, you can always email again if you think of something afterwards. Uh, do we get homework every day? Um, you will have a homework timetable that will give you um, an idea of when you'll be getting homework or when homework will be due in. Um, not necessarily, it's very likely you will get homework every day. A subject, for example, uh, might give you homework on a Monday. Another one might give you one on a Tuesday, um, but you won't necessarily get homework from a subject twice in a row. It's, it's not it's not likely, um, but homework is something we do at Wayne Jules uh, and encourage. Uh, any ideas when the canteen will be open in September? Um, that's a good question. It's usually open on the first day, although I'm not sure about the Friday um, that they first join. Is the Friday the third? Is it open then, Miss? I hope it's open in September. I go and get my food from there, so um, I hope it's open as soon as possible. Uh, Miss, do you know if the canteen will be open straight away in September on the Friday the 3rd? I don't. Um, sorry, um, Mr Dodds, I was just speaking to another Year 7 tutor group. Could you repeat the question? Um, sorry, it's OK. It's any ideas when the canteen will be open? Is it open on Friday the 3rd, for example, straight away? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it'll be open from the first day at uh, break and uh, lunchtime. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, like I said, I, I quite get my canteen uh, food from the canteen as well, so I'd be happy if that is open. <laughs> Any other questions at all? Uh, no problem with that. Homework done. Music, brilliant. And that one done. Anyone got a subject they're really looking forward to at all? Lessons are 60 minutes long. So lessons are uh, 60 minutes long. Um, they go period one, period two. Oh, uh, actually your timetable might be a little bit different next year. Um, but the, minute, the lessons themselves are 60 minutes long. Um, for all of them and there are five lessons in the day. Drama, fantastic drama. My mum's a drama teacher. Um, drama is a really good subject. Any other subjects people are looking forward to? Science, <laughs> brilliant. Any particular science, biology, chemistry, physics? Awesome, Liam. I'm a science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> right, any last questions? If you want to get them in really, really quickly um, and then we'll uh, call it a day. So just we'll just wait another couple of minutes. Um, if anyone's got anything else. 
Mathematics, wow. Good one. Miss Godden will be glad to hear that. She likes math students. Chemistry. Brilliant. I think chemistry is fun as well. I enjoy chemistry. Mm. I did when I was at school. And PE. The chemistry and PE. Brilliant. Any other questions? Any um, other questions at all, guys? Right, OK, I think um, well done, everyone. Thank you for those of you who were able to attend. Um, Mr Dodds, I think if you want to finish up, that's great. Thank you very much. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. It was uh, nice talking to you today and I look forward to seeing you in September. See you later.